I am doing a short video today on how to make a molded rock. So the mold that I'm using today is um, for a round rock. Um, this I got from the Happy Dotting Company. They're based in Australia and um, they provide some great instructions on um, how much powder and water to mix for each of their molds that they sell and they're really thorough so I, I do really enjoy this this mold is really nice and flexible and makes it easier when you're getting your rock out of the mold um, so I do like it for that and then there's also a little um, notch in the bottom of the mold that gives you a center point you can you can hardly see it on this black rock that I've already painted, but there's a little um, raised spot right in the center, so it helps keep everything really centered when you start doing your design. So anyway, stay tuned and I will get started. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we have uh, one cup of, that I pre-measured of the gypsum powder. This is um, called Ultra Cal 30 is what I what I um, use on my rocks and it's a certain percentage of cement and you know something else. I can't think of what it is but it's called Ultra Cal 30. So I put this in my bowl and thanks to Happy Dotting Company I add one cup of the powder and one third cup of water and I just use a, a bowl and measuring um, cups and spoons that I don't really care a whole lot about. Um, and I dedicate that just to my rock making. So um, I put the water in and the key is to not stir too vigorously as um, you don't want bubbles. Um, you want to minimize as many bubbles as possible. So um, I'm just going to try to take my time here with it. And what you're going for is about the consistency of like pancake mix. This seems really thick. Okay, so I added a little bit more water um, to this, so for some reason that's not quite right. So anyways, we're going for pancake mix, um, something that looks sort of thick and creamy like that. And I think I just added too much water, so I'm gonna have to add a little more of the powder so this didn't go quite right. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, so let's let's at least get this mixed in and see what it looks like. Okay, so now I have quite a few bubbles in there, so that's not really what I want. But um, the key is to do get the measurements just right, so it's not too watery and it's not too thick. If it's too thick, it's hard for the bubbles to escape. And if it's too watery, it will shrink in the mold and the rock will come out a little smaller than the shape of the mold, which kind of creates a funny divot in the bottom of the rock. Sort of like, you know, right there's the base, but if it um, shrinks too much, it becomes a little bit, a bigger divot there in the center part, which, you know, isn't the end of the world, but it, I don't think it's supposed to look like that, so. Okay, so this is looking creamier, so this isn't too bad. I think I might have just did a little, not enough water or something on this, so. Okay. So, when you reach a certain point where it's creamy like this, I um, tap off the excess here. I have a paper towel um, right here that I can put my stuff on. And um, I just kind of tap it on the table to let the air bubbles get up. And sort of like when you have a cake pan with cake batter and you tap it to try to get the bubbles to come up. And then once you get to a certain point, some will just dis disappear on their own, but you can use a toothpick to um, pop them and get rid of them so anyways i'll do the same process with inside the mold too so here's the mold um 
you want to work rather quickly once you have it mixed um, because it will start to harden pretty fast. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in so the mold is all cleaned. I cleaned it with soap and water, with dish soap after my last rock that I did. Um, so there were any, there wasn't any debris or any little hard pieces in the mold, so it won't um, affect that. So, okay, so it's almost full. Okay. So. You don't really want to overfill it either um, because then you'll end up with a lip of hard cement stuff, you know, hanging over the top. So this is just about right. It's sort of bubbling up. So I'm going to tap it on the sides of the mold and um, to try to get as many air bubbles up as possible because um, sometimes they'll get trapped on the outer part of the rock and you just want it to be as smooth and, and um, solid as possible. I have had some that I've had air bubbles in and I've um, gone back over it with some leftover of the UltraCal 30 and um, and filled it in, you know, just used my finger. Next time I made a new rock, I just used my finger and covered the hole, you know, with the leftover from the from the next rock. And, and that smooths it out pretty good. So I don't really see a whole lot of air bubbles on this one, so that's good. There's one coming up. Mm, there's a couple. Yeah, kind of addicting to um, pop these bubbles, but it looks way better if you don't have them. So anyways, we'll let that harden up. I'd probably say about two, three hours. Um, let it harden up before you attempt to even take it out of the mold. And, um, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we've had the rock sitting here for a little while and has hardened up. Um, I'd say minimum two, three hours that you should um, let it sit in the mold. I've actually let this one actually sit overnight and um, I'll go ahead and take it out and we'll see what we got. Um, just a couple other pointers too about the um, that leftover um, gypsum ultra cal 30 that's um, left over in the bowl um, you don't want to put that down your drain so um, I always wipe it out with like a paper towel out of the bowl and put it in the garbage can and um, and then you know any little bit of residue that's left over on that on the spoon I'll just rinse off in the sink but you know you pretty much put it all in the garbage can you don't put it in your sink so anyways um, yeah so let's go ahead and take this off so this molds really nice because it's so flexible um, it makes it easy to to get this off and here we got a nice nice rock with a little notch up on the top I don't know if you can see that and then on the bottom we still have, there's a little bit of excess here and some of this you can um, just get off and then I take like a nail file and kind of saw it down a little bit so it's smooth um, so okay so that's most of a little bit of overhang and then here's a little nail file and um, just to smooth it over Okay, all right, so that's it and that's ready to go, ready to be painted. And um, so if you have any questions or have interest um, and need, and need some help with um, future rock inquiries, please feel free to send me a message and be sure to, to like or follow my Etsy page or Facebook page at Colorful Discoveries. Thanks for watching.